Now, we have a CBS News investigation into a charity for wounded veterans. What caught our attention is how the Wounded Warrior Project spends donations as compared to other long-respected charities. For example, the Disabled American Veterans Charitable Service Trust spends 96% of its budgets on vets. Fisher House devotes 91%. But according to public records reported by Charity Navigator, the Wounded Warrior Project spends just 60% on vets. Where's the rest of the money going? Chip Reed and producer Jennifer Janish found out. With a gift of just $19 a month, you can join the Wounded Warrior Project. In its commercials, Wounded Warrior Project appeals to the American public's generosity, and it works. In 2014 alone, the group received more than $300 million in donations. Their mission is to honor and empower wounded warriors. But what the public doesn't see is how they spend their money. Army Staff Sergeant Eric Millette came home from Iraq in 2006 with a bronze star and a purple heart, along with a traumatic brain injury and PTSD. Initially, he admired the charity's work and participated in its programs, and he got a shout-out from the president. Then there's Staff Sergeant uh, Eric Millette. He took a job as a public speaker with Wounded Warrior Project in 2013, but he quit oh, after witnessing what he calls lavish spending on parties for executives and staff. You're using our injuries, our darkest days, our hardships to make money so you can have these big parties. Let's get a Mexican mariachi band in there. Let's get maracas made with the Wounded Warrior Project logo, put them on every staff member's desk. Let's get it catered. Let's have a big old party. Staying at a lavish hotel at the beach here in Jacksonville, One Ocean, and requiring staff that lives in the area to stay at the hotel. CBS News spoke to more than 40 former employees who described a charity where spending was out of control. These two former employees were so fearful of retaliation, they asked us not to show their faces. It was extremely extravagant. Um, dinners and alcohol and, and just total access. For a charitable organization that's serving veterans, all this expense on expensive resorts and alcohol, it seems I mean, it's what the military calls fraud, waste, and abuse. According to the charity's tax forms, spending on conferences and meetings went from $1.7 million in 2010 to $26 million in 2014, about the same amount the group spends on combat stress recovery, its top program. Former employees say spending has skyrocketed since Stephen Nardizzi took over as CEO in 2009. Many point to the 2014 annual meeting at a luxury resort in Colorado Springs as typical of his style. He rappelled down the side of a building. You mean to make a grand entrance? Uh, yes. Yeah, and he's come in on a Segway. He's come in on a horse. About 500 staff members attended the four-day conference in Colorado. The price tag? About $3 million. Donors don't want you to have a $2,500 bar tab. Donors don't want you to fly every staff member once a year to some five-star resort and whoop it up and call it team building. Wounded Warrior Project declined our repeated interview requests for Nardizzi, but offered us their director of alumni and a recipient of their services, Captain Ryan Cools. He denied there was excessive spending on conferences. It's the best use uh, of donor dollars to be able to ensure that we're providing programs and services to our warriors and their families and the highest quality. Why go to a five-star resort in Colorado when you could just do it in Jacksonville and save a lot of money and spend that money on Wounded Warriors? Like I've said, the, the reason that we're providing those all-hands conferences is to ensure that we're aligned and able to build as a team and uh, be able to be aligned to provide the best quality so program. So you're, you're just going to keep saying that no matter what question I ask about the all-hands conferences? Okay. Wounded Warrior Project and those donor dollars trained me to speak and be a voice. And that's exactly what I'm doing. And I'm sorry, but I'll be damned. If you're going to take hard-working Americans' money and drink it and waste it. Ryan Cools of the Wounded Warrior Project told us the charity did not spend $3 million on the Colorado conference, but he was not there and was unable to tell us what it did cost. Scott, he also denied that the charity spends money on alcohol or engages in any other kind of excessive spending.
Chip Reed breaking the investigation tonight. Chip, thank you. And by the way, tomorrow, CBS This Morning will continue Chip's investigation. Former employees say that the programs don't provide comprehensive help to veterans.